Hazard County. By here just any moment now. I can feel it in my bones. I just, I just can't wait to. There goes those dukes. <laughs> Hey, hey everyone, Happy Dude here, and I've got the police car of Roscoe P. Coltrane. Oh, hello, Mabel? Yes? Uh, this is Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane. <laughs> the P is for prosperous. <laughs> now, this is made out of die cast in scale 118 from the brand Greenlight, and this is a 1977 Plymouth Fury but you can also get it as a Dodge Monaco, but they are identical. I'm also gonna do a mini review of the car, so let's unbox it first. On top of the box we find these police lights, and luckily they are see-through, so we can see the lights. Now, let's get to the car. Here it is. Oh. So the front doors don't have any windows. That will make it easy to open up the doors. And the rear doors have windows, but you cannot open up these doors. Same with the trunk. It's completely sealed off. This is the rear of the car. Oh, and we also don't have a number plate. The paint job... Um, well, it's a green light, so <laughs> you know what to expect. It's not uh, perfect, but it is good enough. And the details are all there just like in the TV show and the front wheels cannot be turned left and right it's a solid axle but the wheels can turn and they are both connected and there's a lot of <laughs> play in the wheels also not a lot of details here on the bottom and also the hood cannot be opened it's only possible with the front doors and there's not a lot of detail in there as you can see let me turn on the light uh, focus we have some dials three pedals and that's wrong because I think it was an automatic we also have some details here on the side of the door but not a lot we do have a radio inside and I can even see a wire that's connected to the CB so, not too bad, but uh, don't expect a lot of detail uh, from green light. Let's do a roll test. Oh, it's actually not that bad. 
Now, there's no carpet on the floor, it's just hard plastic, but the seats uh, do feel rubberized. Uh, you can even squish them a little bit. And here's the front of the car, and we're also missing a number plate right here. All right, let's start working. Here's a rack to protect the paint job. And then we're gonna remove these screws right here. There are only six. So that's the advantage of a simple cheap model, uh, especially if the wheels can turn, it's very easy uh, to take it apart. Now I have never worked on a 118 scale model. That's why I have chosen this model right here, since it's very easy to work on. And I'm only going to do the uh, police lights on the roof. So it will be a good practice for when I want to do another model with more lights. All right, let's take it apart. Wow, look how easy this is. Perfect model for my first time. Uh, and then we have one screw right here. Now I had some troubles uh, with pulling this piece out, but the only thing you need to do is push in uh, the seat here so it can pass through the gap you see and then you just do it on the other side also and then the whole interior will pop out oh right there is a wire of the CB but I think it's more easy if I just yank it off, but I don't want to. Oh, let's turn it like this. Yes. Okay. And now we have room to work. Before I started this project, I searched on the internet to see which were the best lights. And if you don't want any uh, circuit boards in there, you can just order uh, three millimeter small LEDs that already uh, can flash on their own. Just positive and negative has to be right. See, you can have green, blue, red or blue red, but these LEDs don't give uh, a lot of light. They work on 3 volt and they also don't have any wires connected to them but luckily I found these LEDs this is the website and you can buy red and blue separately you can get them in any color with or without flash and they already have a resistor in there so you can connect them to 6 volt or 9 or 12. First let's try it out on 3 volt. You see it's flashing. It's very weak but it is working. Now let's try it out on a 12 volt battery. I've closed the curtains so you can see the light a little bit better. Oh yes, that's perfect. All right, let's drill a hole in this police light. Uh, don't do it on the outside because then you will see the cable and also don't do it on this little ring because that's a piece of plastic that holds uh, the plastic housing. So just do it here. 
I already made a little mark, so take a screw and make a tiny little hole so the drill doesn't slip. Don't put a lot of force on there, just let the drill uh, do all the work. Damn, I slipped out. So now I am very close to the plastic inside. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's way better. And as you can see, I also made a mess of this hole. God, I suck. And then we take some super glue We put a little bit on the edge. And also on this. And then we just put the light in and wait a few seconds. All right, now let's do the same with the blue light and make sure that you have the right color of light in the right color of plastic. And now sadly, we're gonna have to drill a hole in the roof so the cables can go through. So we just uh, measure the distance and then we're gonna make a hole next to it. Now it's best to drill on the inside because it's less slippery and if you do slip out, you are never going to see it. So take your screw and once you have the measurements, give it a good whack with a hammer. Then we do the same for the second hole. Then we're gonna remove sharp edges and see if the holes are big enough for the cables. Let's see. Oh, a bit too small. So now it's four millimeter. So let's make the holes six millimeter. All right, the holes are now six millimeter. Let's see. Oh yes, perfect. Nice. Then we bend the wires and put some tape on there so everything is secured. And now we can reinstall the interior. Now you can use the uh, foam of the original package so the car doesn't have to rest on the police light. And there is actually room here for the wires to pass and these screws uh, were missing, so green light forgot to put them in there. <laughs> and then we take some double-sided tape for the battery holder. There we go. And now we're gonna make a hole here for a little switch. And then we make that hole bigger with a Dremel. And then I have used two components glue, 
because it's very strong and you can fill up uh, little gaps and it also dries very fast but make sure that you don't use it here on the side because otherwise the glue will get in the opening and then the switch will be stuck guess how i know and then we test out the pins and see which position is on and off okay and then we connect the cable of the battery holder to one of the pins and solder it and then we solder the positive of the lights to the uh, second pin of the switch and then we slide a heat shrink tube over the negative, twist the two negatives to each other and then solder them. Then we slide the heat shrink over the cables and use a heat gun. To let it shrink and now we can put in our little 12 volt battery and do a little test yes it works great success and now we can close it all up and see the result. Those are not farts, that's, that's just the foam. And here's the final result. As you can see, the cables are well hidden you can only see it when you tip the car over and also you cannot see it here just a little bit here in the corners so i am very happy with the result okay let's see it in the dark That's so cool. Please don't forget to like and maybe subscribe to see more videos like this. And you all have a nice day now. Bye.